If you're accustomed to selecting 6061T6 aluminum for machining, you may find yourself automatically requesting that same material for your sheet metal parts. But 6061 aluminum isn't typically the best choice for a sheet metal part. For aluminum fabrication, we usually recommend 5052H32 instead. While both aluminum alloys are lightweight, strong, corrosion resistant, and weldable, with some potential for heat deformation, the two materials are not interchangeable. Let's start with 6061. 6061T6 is lightweight, high strength, and has superior corrosion resistance. 6061T6 aluminum is also heat treated and very hard, so it machines beautifully. However, 6061 does not play well with forming processes as the alloy is highly likely to crack when formed to 90 degrees or beyond. If you must have a 6061 aluminum part with a 90 degree bend, we recommend making the internal radii equal to at least two to three times the material thickness. Cosmetic issues such as scratches and dents are also considerations when using 6061T6 for aluminum fabrication. These cosmetic concerns can be managed, but be aware that fixing surface blemishes may increase both cost and lead time. 5052H32 is high strength and has a high corrosion resistance. It also has the best welding characteristics of all the aluminum. Because 5052H32 aluminum is not heat treated, it embodies high fatigue strength and elasticity, making it ideal for forming. Due to its high modulus of elasticity, it is not ideal for machining as it tends to gall up the end mill. And at approximately $2 less per pound than 6061 aluminum, 5052H32 makes more sense for your fabricated parts based on price alone. In this video, you can see that the part formed with 5052 will not break at the bend. However, the same part formed with 6061 will easily break when pressure is applied to the bend. To review, 5052 is less expensive and more easily formed versus 6061. Aluminum fabrication with 6061 is possible. To ensure the material holds up to the forming process additional considerations invariably apply. We may need you to increase the internal bend radii, or it may be necessary to begin with AT0 temper and then heat treat the finished part. No matter how we'll need to prep your 6061 material, you should anticipate a longer lead time and additional costs. Thank you for watching our video on 6061T6 vs 5052H32 aluminum.